Hello and welcome to the next episode of our 3D Experience How-To series. Today we're going to talk about process automation using the Process Composer application within the 3D Experience client. Now we introduced process automation in the beginning of our series as one of the major pillars of the 3D Experience platform. And we'll just start with a quick review what you've already seen. So what you can see here on the slide is just an exemplary um, workflow that we created using different applications of the 3D Experience platform, just like the calculator app that you can see here, a physics simulation objects being optimized by an optimization component. And these workflows run from start to finish and work through all the components that you've built up in between. And in the end, you will get a certain result that you automated here. Now, one of the major benefits creating these automation workflows on the 3D experience is of course that all data types are present in the 3D Experience database and every application that you use can directly access the data objects and there's no need of writing any Python code to um, translate different files objects to each other. That means everything that you're building up within the 3D Experience can directly be accessed. So it is very efficient and the build of these workflows is very easy to be done. And now we'll have a look at the 3D Experience platform and see how these workflows can be built up and what the different components are capable of doing. And for that, we switch into the 3D Experience. Okay, now this is our starting point, this 3D Experience platform. What we do is we use the compass to search for the process Composer application. And there it is, it's called Optimization Process Composer. We start the application just by clicking on it. And this is now our um, working space. Now you can already see there's a start and a finish and between there's a line. And on this line, you can add activities from the toolbar below as written there. So this is toolbar below and you can see there are several different objects that are um, applications that we can use to build up our workflow. There are some simulation applications like physics simulation, abaco simulation object, CST simulation objects for electromagnetics, Excel sheets, um, system simulation, you name it. Then general operations like an OS command, some script components, a calculator app, for example. Then the 3D experience operations, which can basically use whatever you need from the native apps. Some data it's exchanging for importing, exporting data, for saving data to the platform, loading it again. Um, and then some design exploration tools where you can build up designs of experiment studies, optimization workflows, Monte Carlo simulations, and so on. Now, how does it work? So what you do is you just take the component that you want to use, for example, a physics simulation and drop it here on the line. And then you have to configure it. And for configuring, you can just use um, this, this object here. Here you can search the database for any simulation objects that you want to use within the workflow. So for example, we can search again for our quadcopter simulation and it will just directly use it. And here with input and output, all the possible variables that you can change within the workflows are listed. Okay, next, maybe I want to do an optimization task. So what I would then do is I go to design exploration, use the optimization component, drop it here, and you can see that it directly forms this kind of loop where we have an optimization of the simulation that is down there. Of course, again, you have to configure everything. So you open up the editor and can set the optimization algorithms that you want to use, the variables that you want to optimize, some constraints as well as objectives. 
Now you can be very creative when building up these models. And in the end, of course, you can use whatever components you would like to use. For example, you can easily add script components, um, calculator components, and maybe an Excel components for your um, reporting. And in the end, it will just run from start to finish, use all the components that are within the workflow and create objects, create a report at the end that, that you can use. If you have any questions about building workflows within the 3D Experience platform, feel free to directly contact us. We will help you building these up. So thanks for now and see you on the next episode.